In this example, we will be finding the square root of 80, but before we do that, we need to review an important math rule, which is that the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b, where a and b can be any value. So if you have two values multiplied by each other inside of a square root, you can separate out those square roots. To apply this to the square root of 80, we first need to come up with factors of 80. I'm going to use 16 and 5 as my factors of 80 because 16 is a perfect square. And having a perfect square will allow us to simplify in the future. Now we can rewrite the square root of 80 as a square root of 16 times 5, which we can then use our math rule to rewrite as the square root of 16 times the square root of 5. Because 4 times 4 gives us 16, the square root of 16 will be 4. Therefore, the square root of 80 can be simplified to 4 times the square root of 5. We can also estimate the square root of 80 to the nearest whole number by taking a look at perfect squares nearby to this value. So 8 squared gives us 64, and 9 squared gives us 81. As you can see, 80 is between 64 and 81. We can therefore write the following inequality. The square root of 64 will be less than the square root of 80, which will be less than the square root of 81. Because 8 squared is 64, the square root of 64 will be 8. And then because 9 squared is 81, the square root of 81 will be 9. Therefore, the square root of 80 lies between 8 and 9. To find the value that the square root of 80 is closest to, we will look at the difference between 80 and our perfect squares. To do this, we will subtract 80 in our perfect squares. So to do 80 minus 64, we will get 16, and then 81 minus 80 gives us 1. Therefore, we can see that 81 and 80 are the closest in value, so the square root of 80 will be the closest to 9. We can then write the square root of 80 as approximately 9.